Hi guys, it's Steph, and in today's video, we are filming a mukbang at one of my favorite places that I've been coming to as a kid. It is a restaurant, and they have home-style cooking, and it is called Heartville Kitchen. It is delicious. We've been coming here since I was like, no joke, five. Like, ever since I was a baby, they have the best fried chicken and mashed potatoes ever. So I'm like, I need to do more restaurant videos. I do like lots of fast food. Lots of fast food videos, but so I got takeout for this place. Let me show you guys what I got so that you always get rolls, and they are so good. So good. And then in here, oh, we have my barbecue pork sandwich. Mmm. Okay, so I will tell you guys like the background on each item a little bit. So every meal you get three sides, which is a lot. So that sandwich came with one, so I got buttered noodles. So buttery, look at this. Buttered noodles, and then also with my chicken dinner, my one side is mac and cheese. Now look how cheesy that is. My goodness, my goodness. And then here's the chicken dinner. This is my favorite. This is what my parents get too, we all get this. So I got the thigh, oops, chicken thigh and breast dinner. Thigh, breast, whatever. <laughs> Mashed potatoes and corn. And then the mac and cheese goes with this meal. My mouth is dripping. Shout out to you, Grandma, if you're watching this. She loves this place too. And I also even went ham and got a peanut butter pie. Also my favorite, my grandma and my mom love their lemon meringue pie. But we would always come here and they have a gift shop too. This is where I got my webkins. <laughs> like when I was young, they always had webkins and we'd go out to dinner and then I'd pick out a webkins after. This is like the most comforting and yummy food ever. It's like Thanksgiving food. So I'm gonna dive right in. Some mashed potatoes. They're like so soft, like. Everything is still so warm and I love corn. Mm. Oh, I wish I took a picture before I dug into my mashed potatoes. It's so beautiful. So they have like a massive gift shop in there. And they used to always have these babies, like realistic babies, and they were really expensive. I think they're actually like a hundred bucks, but maybe more. I don't know, but as a kid, like I was never allowed to get one. <sighs> the best part. I used to always go in there and like walk around and look at them and play with them. And then they had webkins, like jewelry, just so much stuff. Mm. So I think that's why I like this place so much because of all the memories. And in school, like a lot of older people come here. Like that's like mostly who is there like sitting inside eating. I don't know why. But in high school we had to take like a baby class. We had to take care of a fake baby for the whole like day and night. And the thing would wake you up in the middle and like crying and you just have to take care of it. It was like child development class. And me and my friends, I don't remember who had the baby that night. I don't think it was me. It was one of my friends, but we all went to Heartful Kitchen for dinner, and then one of us brought the baby, and it was like crying while it was in, we were in there, and it's like quiet in there. We're like, let's go to dinner with the baby, and everyone probably thought it was a real baby, because you got like the carrier and everything. But when I was a kid, I used to always just get this barbecue pork minus the bun. I would just get a, a mound of the pork on my plate. I don't know why. I'm 
but that's what I would get. So I ordered on the phone. I was like, I'll just have the barbecue pork. And she's like, without the bun? I'm like, yeah. And then I was like, never mind. I'll just, I'll try it with the bun. Like, I'm a grown up. Let's have some mac and cheese. I haven't had this place. I feel like I'm like dark. Let me tap. There we go. Is that better? Or is that too bright? Oh, and my sunlight's open. I feel like I haven't had this place in like years because when I moved away. Ooh. Now that is just goopy cheesy. Ness. <laughs> the Ness was a little bit delayed. It's just so soupy and cheesy. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had this place. I guess my parents will get carry out and they'll get fried chicken and they'll like give me the chicken skin. Cause who remembers when I used to only eat the chicken skin? I still think it's the best part. Can't everyone agree with that? I don't know what country it is, but at their KFC, they have like, you could just buy a bucket of the fried chicken. I don't know where that's at. I feel like it's like in Japan or something. I'm like lucky. <laughs> oh, butter on my head. Lucky. So, I got a new tattoo. I've had it for a bit now. And you guys keep commenting, asking about it, and I always forget to mention it. But yeah, I just woke up one day, I'm like, I want another tattoo. Like, I just want a bunch of, like, little small dainty ones everywhere. Just, like, cute ones. And to me, personally, I don't think a tattoo really needs to have a meaning. Like, it's, like, it's more like art. I mean, that's a word, but, like, if you like it, you like it. So I got Angel. Hmm. I just think it's cute. And that's my first tattoo since the butterfly. And I got that like a year and a half ago. So it's been a while. And it hurt. Like I forgot how bad tattoos hurt. Unless it was like the spot, like it's a sensitive spot maybe, but I was like, Fisting my hand. I was like, Ugh, like I'm in so much pain. <laughs> and I went on an empty stomach, so I was just like feeling really lightheaded. <laughs> Let's see more chicken. I guess I could have got the wing. Maybe it would have been like easier to eat in the car. I'm gonna just get in there with my fingers and get messy. My mom's actually with me. She just went in the gift shop. But I picked her up because then we were gonna go check out the thrift store. If you guys follow my second channel, I do thrift store hauls and we get good stuff there. Like not really clothes, more like home decorations and and things like that, but they got good stuff. Like, you can really find good stuff at that one. So we're gonna stop there and if we get good stuff, I'll also do a haul. Like, yum. This is like my favorite type of food, I think. I mean, Thanksgiving. Like, that. this is like what we eat on Thanksgiving. And ham, but I'm not really a fan of ham. I think we eat ham. Yeah. And stuffing, which, mm, I'm not a huge fan of stuffing either. 
Oh wait, we don't eat chicken on, what am I talking about? We eat turkey. I'm not even a huge fan of turkey either. I like ham better than turkey, but I wish we had fried chicken. For real, we should get like carry out from here. But other than that, it's like basically Thanksgiving food. I've never been too much of a ham person. Or even like a steak person. I like chicken all the way. Or roast beef. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that sandwich. Just like ripping off the skin. Crispy chicken skin. Dip it in the mashed potatoes. But yeah, I have to like, what time is it? It's almost two. I have a painter coming to look at my house at, they said three to four. I was like, 3.30 will be better, but I'll try and be back by 3. But my neighbor just texted me today randomly, and she's like, my painter is coming over. Did you still want, like, a painter? Because the previous owners of my house, they, like, repainted, I'm guessing, like, right before maybe the open house. They had like trouble kids. Like there's crayon marks like all over the wall upstairs and <laughs> at like the open house the little kid was just like standing on the kitchen counters. <laughs> and the mom was like yelling at him. <laughs> like that is <laughs> it's so funny. So I'm guessing there was a lot of dings on the wall. There already is a ton of dings on the wall. But I'm guessing there was like way more. And the guy tried to cover it up. And only went like four feet up on the wall. And like just did it in random spots. And then like when it dried, it looks horrible. <laughs> it's just like so many different colors everywhere. So I just want to repaint it all the same color. Because I like the color. But it's just so, it's so bad. So I want to repaint it. I heard it had someone come out and quote it, but I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling him. I don't know. Because it's just like random people from like Angie's list, which is just like random people like with side jobs. So I was like, mm. I don't know, I don't know. I want more chicken skin. Ooh, wait, there's a big piece. Yum, yeah, this is so good. I'm so thirsty. Ooh, this like lid never goes on here. I love this water bottle. It's like literally huge. But I wish this was a nice coffee. Let's try this pork sandwich. Mmm, barbecue pork. Like, look at all that meat. Mmm. It's so crazy, I like this too, because like barbecue stuff like this is not usually my favorite. Like brisket, like whenever like there's like a party or something and they're having like barbecue stuff, usually people are like, yay, but I'm like, eh. But this is bussin'. 
It's like so good to see the meat too. It's like really juicy. <laughs> I can't believe that used to be my dinner when I was a kid. Literally just a mound of that pork. But I think I would eat some of my parents like chicken skin and like their sides too. Because you get a ton of food. Isn't that crazy? For one dinner you get all those sides. All of this was $30. And I got the pie too. So like that is not bad at all. For yummy home cooked food. I did that really bad. You guys, guess what? I'm super excited about this. I got a Blackstone. Well, I just ordered it on Amazon. I think it's gonna come like next week. I'm gonna make Blackstone videos. I wanna make like a huge big breakfast on it. That's gonna be so fun, cause there's two burners. There was one that had four burners, but I'm like, that's a little bit, I feel like that's too much. So I got the one with two. So I could cook eggs on one side, bacon on the other, like if things need different heats. Oh, I'm so excited. Or like a big hibachi, like some steak and then lo mein. Fried rice. Crack some eggs on there. And be like Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> I'm really excited. So yeah, I got it on Amazon and it should be here next week. So when it's here, I'm gonna be making videos. These rolls are so good, but I'm like out of butter. I knew this one person who could eat sticks of butter like by itself. Like after a night of drinking, they would just go home and eat a stick of butter. <laughs> like what? But like now I feel like I can kind of see it like it is good. What else did I get on Amazon? I did some Amazon shopping last night. I was having fun. I got this big garlic plush. I think it's like this big. And it's a big garlic like stuffed animal. Because I love garlic. I don't even know what got me to search that up. I think I just looked up the word garlic. I was literally just browsing. And then I got some pantry organizers and I got those seasoning containers. So I'm gonna take all my seasonings out of the container they're already in and put them in new containers. But then they'll all match and they have like labels. So I'm excited. I'll probably film all that on my second channel. I'm redoing my pantry right now and I am vlogging that. I got paint for it yesterday, and I'm gonna repaint it. The shelves are white, but they're like an off-white, or maybe it's just because they're like older. I don't know, it's just, I wanted like a clean, fresh, bright white. So I'm repainting the shelves, and then the room has so many, <laughs> like a lot of scratches too. So I was just gonna repaint it like a similar color. So I got some paint, and once I repaint and organize, that's it, then that vlog will go up. I just wanted to like vlog it all, but I already filmed me replacing the countertop. So that's super exciting. I got some snacks too. I got little mini bags of pop chips. On Amazon it comes with like five flavors or something and four bags of each flavor. 
they're my favorite chips the white cheddar but I've never had the other flavors so I'm excited to try those all out they're called like popcorners popcorner popcorner pop chips so many fast food places are coming out with new food items I like can't even keep keep up Like Culver's just came out with a new burger. Arby's came out with a burger. Wendy's came out with a strawberry frosty. And I know there's more. I just can't think of them right now. Woo. And I want to try them all. I'm getting full, but let's check out this pie. So I asked for a small size. Let's see, oh how cute. Yum. Oh my goodness. Do I want to dig into this? I'll have to just dig into the top. Look at that. A little mini vanilla peanut butter pie. Okay, let's just kind of dig into the side a little bit. I'm not going to be able to get crust, but oh, and the filling. This is definitely the best pie ever. Mmm. Yum. All the filling and so much whipped cream with the little peanut butter crumbles on top. Do you guys think you could eat this whole pie? I feel like I could. It's not that big. I feel like it's like a giant slice in a circle. <laughs> Maybe it's a lot. I feel like it's perfect for two people. Wow, it's been so long since I've had this. Speaking of sweets, they're opening a crumble cookie up near me like this week. I'm so excited because once I moved out of where I was before, there was crumble cookies everywhere and we didn't have one over here. And now we do. So, crumble cookie video. I'm going to cut myself off because I am getting full, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of a different style video. Um, let me know what you guys thought and if you want me to try other restaurants. I want to do the Cheesecake Factory again. I also don't have that near me, but it's an hour away, which I would take a trip for that because there's also some, some shopping and stuff you could do around there. So let me know what else you guys want to see me do, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.